Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. It is here, it is here. Godzilla vs. Kong official trailer. A little over two minutes long. We've been patiently waiting for official footage. We've seen bits and pieces like leaked footage from like a some sort of con or whatever overseas like a year or so ago. Really grainy footage. And then there was some like teaser stuff coming out the last couple of days leading up to this trailer. And I wasn't watching any of them. I just heard that they were dropping stuff. And I was avoiding those because I just wanted, I'm just waiting for the trailer because been waiting for this movie forever then it was delayed and then it was supposed to come out in may now they're pushing it now to march which is great hbo max of course same day and day to theaters like uh, wonder woman 84 so i'm hyped i'm excited i would like to see this in theaters but i doubt my theaters will be open around the time the film releases so i'll probably have to watch on hbo max like wonder woman 84 but uh here we are official trailer i'm ready let's get into it and see this shit because i i am so hyped i don't know who's gonna win though I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be like Batman v Superman. They're going to fight, and then there's going to be a bigger threat. I don't know what that threat would be, but there's probably going to be a bigger threat and all that. So here we go, guys. Godzilla vs. Kong official trailer. Let's get into it and see what they show us. Let's go. Whoa. This is our only chance. Of course. We have to take it. Oh, shit. It's captured. We need. The world needs Kong. There's a child. She's the only one he'll communicate with. I knew that they had a bond. She had nowhere to go, so I made a promise to protect her. And I think that in some way, Kong did the same. Okay. Oh shit! What? It's Godzilla. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude. These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people. Hey, he's back. I figured. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. I'm of the same opinion. Ooh. There was a war. A war? What? Wait, there was a war? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Jesus! Dude! Wait a minute, there was a war? I just want to play back that part, but a war. What, what do you mean a war? You're not saying this, but I want to. I want to hear that again. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. I'm not the same opinion. The myths are real. Okay, the myths are real. There was a war. Okay. And they're the last one standing. I can't wait to for greatness because I'm from it. So there's a war. I love this trailer, by the way, but that's interesting. Because the the question is, why would they fight? Because in Godzilla King of the Monsters, Kong didn't show up any time. Like, we saw a brief shot of him, and they mentioned him at some point. But, like, interesting. What kind of war are we... Are we talking about, like, a war between the Titans? A war back then between an ancestor of Godzilla, an ancestor of Kong, maybe? I don't know. We got returning players from... Um, Godzilla. I wonder if they're going to have people who, uh, who were in Kong Skull Island come back and kind of de-age them to make them older. Um, or is de-age mean backwards? I'm not sure. But basically, age them up 
and they would still be in like Tom Hiddleston would they would they bring him in as an older character from because that film was in the 70s but they still could do that I mean I don't know but oh, I like this a lot <laughs> I can't wait to see this movie I'm hopeful this is gonna be good I now here's what I like because there's been a lot of th rumors and stuff about there's gonna be a bigger threat I'm glad that they I, from what I can tell they did not hint at if this is true because the focus is Godzilla versus Kong and the surprise to anyone who doesn't know or the confirmation is it out there that there is a bigger threat and they team up to fight the true villain. I, I think it would be interesting if they just stuck with just them both fighting and that's it. Like that's the whole film, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Cause I mean, Godzilla took on King Ghidorah in the last one and wrote and Rodan and Mothra was helping, but there was a whole, it's a whole mess. I don't know, but like Kong, like he, he looks, the, the CG looks great, but like, I like how that Kong is, at the same size now as Godzilla, like maybe a little bit smaller, but they're around, around the same size. Because when Kong was in Kong Skull Island, he definitely wasn't as big as Godzilla. And they're saying, "Well, this is a baby Kong. This is a small Kong. Don't worry, he's gonna get bigger." They got like I said, returning characters from Godzilla: King of the Monsters, um, Millie Bobby Brown, which I think she was pretty good in the last film. And so I'm glad that her and her dad are back. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because they want to build a monster verse and. Box office wise, Godzilla 2014 did okay. Kong Skull Island did okay. I think it did a little bit better than okay box office. But then Godzilla King of the Monsters didn't do so good. So with this going to HBO Max and then theater same day and date and everything going on, I don't know if this film is going to do as well as they hope. I mean, I'm hoping that they get a big subscriber jump on HBO Max to show that they people want to see the MonsterVerse and they're signing up to watch the film. But I don't know. But I like the trailer. And um, the little girl that has a connection with Kong, that's interesting. Kind of adds them. Because I wasn't expecting that kind of... I was expecting to where they're just going to fight. But they actually have some depth here, which I would hope so. Because if it's just them fighting, that's cool. But you got to have some story elements. And so Kong is captured. The world needs Kong for some reason. I guess to fight Godzilla. But I thought Godzilla was the protector. So I'm not sure what exactly they need Kong for. But anyways, what would you guys think of the Godzilla vs. Kong official trailer? I'm curious to know your thoughts. I'm really uh, excited for this movie and uh i think this trailer delivered it definitely delivered a lot more than i thought uh and we saw some pretty cool action there and in the daytime because a lot of times they do this stuff in the dark to kind of hide the cg a little bit and to kind of you know because cg it, it's got to look more realistic in the daytime it's harder to do so I, I was happy to see that there's some daytime stuff here so anyways what did you guys think of the trailer let me know in the conversation below talk to you guys soon peace out